Hey guys and welcome to the second how to EP video on my channel. Today we're going to be covering a highly requested uh, video that a lot of you guys wanted. I get a lot of questions about this. I get a lot of people who want me uh, to do this for them. So I thought, you know, since I'm doing these series, why don't I make a video about it? Um, uh, to help out you guys my customers or any other people that are trying to figure out how to do this um, So what we're gonna be covering today is pretty much uh, how you prevent EP from conflicting with each other um, If you guys haven't already seen my first video make sure to check it out right now link is gonna be in the description uh, It is somewhat important to you know know that one uh, know quite a bit about that video as well because it does explain the basics uh, We're gonna be we're not gonna be covering the basics over here anymore uh, We're gonna be kind of moving in and diving straight into it and I'm gonna be using a lot of uh, The EP terminology which you may not understand make sure you check out the first video before you hop over here and uh, Let's get straight into this so starting off as you guys can see on the left side right here We have my LCBD EP mega pack and on my right side we have my SHP EP mega pack obviously the LSPD one there's only half of these things here um, I already put the YDDs in here so EP 8.9 is in here um, pretty much uh, what conflicting means is uh, that my SHP and LSPD mega packs they're not made uh, to work on one server um, unless you make sure they do if that makes sense um, because the SHP textures are the, ver the first texture on the uniform so A and the LSPD ones are also A meaning that they conflict with each other and they replace each other so how do we change this so say we want the first texture of the uniforms to be the LSPD one and then let's say we want um, well since we have let's see we have three textures for LSPD meaning the first three textures need to be for LSPD and then we need LSSHP only has one uniform texture meaning that uh, we want the fourth texture to be SHP so they can all work together well how do we do that as you guys remember from the last video like I said um, we need to find the YTDs which is a texture file we're not worried about the YDDs we're worried about YTD files right here let me pull them up so you guys can see so I already know which ones are the uniform so so you remember the import export is always the top though those are like the formal uniforms um, so here we have them we have the three different variations we have jbib 004 which is a shore sleeve we have jbib 007 and we have jbib 014 which is the long sleeve with the tie so as you guys can see we have ABC for each of these right here uh, meaning there's three textures per shirt variation for the LSPD one but what we can do we can leave one alone so we can leave this LSPD one alone we can leave it as it is and all we really need to change is the SHP one now if we go over to the SHP one we see we have uh, where is it at import export right here uh, we have one texture so one texture for the short sleeve one texture for the long sleeve and one texture for the long sleeve with a tie and you can see it's all a well it's extremely simple to make sure this doesn't conflict all you really do is right click on it you hit rename and you change the a to the fourth letter uh, in the alphabet which is d so as you can see we have three textures over here in lspd meaning it will take up the first three textures a b and c over here we need to change this to d just to make sure this is the fourth texture and we do this for every shirt variation now once you do this right here you're pretty much all done and all you really need to do is put this in game um, now this, this is really all it takes all you need to do is to you know just for name them you can always do it the different way around uh, say if you want the SHP one first you would keep it as it is you would keep it as the a file and all you would really do is change the first texture of the LSPD one to B and then make it start with B and then go up from there. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So like I said, these instead of using numbers like texture one, texture two, they just decided to use say texture A, texture B. It is the same concept. You just kind of need to translate it in your head and it's really simple to understand. 
so we're just gonna put this in game right here and I'm gonna show you guys that this works uh, so all you really do is drag and drop into the EP stream from here see you guys in game here we are in game um, as you guys can see it looks like it worked the first texture is the first LSPD texture that I have in my LSPD mega pack ignore the pants we're just focusing on what we worked on here uh, so if we press enter for the second texture it's gonna be the blue texture the next one's gonna be the white one and then the fourth one as you guys can see is the SHB one so all work perfectly fine it's as simple as that uh, if we go to 194 we'll have the long sleeve variation here same thing over here all worked uh, if we go to 201 we'll find a long sleeve tie variation right here seems like everything worked perfectly fine no issues whatsoever so that's basically how you replace um, or change conflicting EP this works for absolutely everything pants or whatever um, so it's as simple as that I appreciate you guys for coming by today Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm always, always uh, looking forward to answering questions and helping you guys out. Uh, join my Discord down below. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in there as well under the Ask OLEMR channel. Um, and check out my EP on OLEMR.com. I appreciate you guys. It was your boy OLEMR. And I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.